two and 10 foot sea level rise. The map shown here depicts wetlands, most vulnerable at two feet. There is a total of 337 square miles of wetlands vulnerable to sea level rise. Wetlands are most vulnerable along the point of Marsh Target, Cedar Island, the Barrier Islands, Poor Sound, the Straits, North River, Newport River, White Oak River, Noose River South River, Noose River, and Bogue Sound. There's a trend of vulnerability that can also be seen throughout sea level rise scenarios. The map shown here depicts wetlands most vulnerable at 10 foot sea level rise. The wetlands are most vulnerable along the Bogue Sound, Newport River, North River, Noose River, South River, the Straits, Portsmouth, Shackleford Banks, White Oak River, the Barrier Islands, and Cedar Island. At 10 foot sea level rise, there is a total loss of 1,047 square miles of wetlands. I'm sorry, there is a total of 1,047 square miles of wetlands vulnerable to sea level rise. This study provides this study proved there will be significant changes to land cover throughout the county caused by sea level rise. Therefore, the null hypothesis is rejected and the main the, rejected. The main takeaways from this study are to demonstrate the use and efficacy of models. 